Hi there, Brenda. I am doing a, um, a video uh, response to your v uh, vlog that you did um, entitled, I don't get it, I think was the title. Um, you were talking about the what your husband's going through with this whole new iPhone deal and how um, it it's kind of offensive, you know, that we everyone needs to be um, getting the latest, newest, biggest, greatest thing. And why is that? And why can't we be more conservative and all that? <clears throat> and it's kind of funny because that's a that's something that I think about a lot. Um, how the economy um, of how I mean, it's a worldwide economy, but really it all kind of stemmed from North American economy and how it has changed the face of how we look at goods. Um, it used to be that you had durable goods, um, like televisions and couches and cars and, you know, lamps and whatever, and you had um, consumable goods, shampoo, toothpaste, food, um, you know, that. Um, and the idea was you would buy quality, you know, when you look back at um, advertisements from, you know, the, um, the 19th century all the way through the, the, about the middle of the 20th century, right about, you know, shortly after World War II, um, the idea was you spent money on a lot of it. I mean, if you compare what things cost then to what people made, they were spending a lot more than we're spending, percentage-wise, on things like, you know, living room furniture, let's say. Um, and the idea is you wanted to buy something that lasted a long, long time. Uh, telephones, same thing. Radios. Uh, the idea that that stuff was supposed to be cheap, disposable, and consumable wasn't even, it wasn't even part of our consciousness. Um, I think what happened, well there's many things that, that happened, this is a huge economic question that you've asked, but among the things that have happened, I think, is that with World War II, um, we had a push, a technological push, pretty much un unprecedented in, in the history of the world, um, that all sat on the shoulders of the silicon chip. It was that, um, the computer chip, that the old school computer chip <laughs> that pretty much changed everything um, and um, it drove technology, it drove learning, it drove um, discoveries um, about new ways to do things, new ways to build things, um, new ways to utilize things. It drove everything for a half a century and what we've, part of the fallout, part of what we've ended up with are durable goods that really aren't supposed to be durable. The idea is you buy it, you use it for a while, um, you toss it out or you trade it in or or you recycle it into something else and telephones, let's say, since that's what that was the theme of your talk, um, and you get another one. Um, they are reasonably inexpensive. I mean, most people can afford to get a new phone, especially when it's um, uh, going on sale or it's you know, post, um, um, I mean, its premiere has, might have happened a couple months ago and prices start to come down and all that. And so that kind of consumerism is, is a very big part of our economy. It's a big part of why we have so many jobs, we can employ the people that we employ and all of that. Um, and as a, as a disclaimer, I'm not, um, I am not um, s philosophically supporting that part of our economy. I'm just acknowledging that that's, you know, very much what holds us all afloat. Um, it takes a lot of people and a lot of tax dollars to recover from Hurricane Sandy and to build new roads and to hire new you know, more law enforcement and to build more prisons and all the stuff that we do with this big economy that we all live in. So I think, um, and then of course on the, on the tail of new innovation, you have Madison Avenue, which is um, finding new and better ways to convince us that we need new and better things. So 
you know, advertising alone is a fascinating thing to look at. How how we are sold the idea that we need something in the first place. Um, uh, sometimes, though, you do need something new, and I'll give you an example. I <clears throat> my videos so far, thus far as of today, are all one shot. Uh, no editing, um, no pretty titles. I, I shoot the way you shoot, essentially. Um, and I do it on a little cheap Samsung thing or my Sa Samsung phone or a Samsung tablet. Uh, I don't even have a camera, per se, that would work for this. Um, and I'm fine with all that. However, I really do want to... Um, uh, to make my videos a little slicker, um, cut down on all the times I say um, and all the times I say like, <laughs> and make my, um, come in, uh, hey Tove! James, come on in James. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm going to pause this and talk to my son, I'll be right back. Okay, so there's a case in point. I don't have um, editing software, so I'm not going to edit out, you know, where my son came in and I paused the thing and all that. Well, that's not exactly true. I do have editing software. I bought PowerDirector um, for a hundred bucks, and I figured that was a good one to get started with. My problem is that none, not one, of my mini laptops are um, optimized to be able to do this kind of um, editing. They don't have a lot of RAM. They don't have a lot of memory. Um, their graphics cards aren't you know, up to spec. So I need to go to Best Buy or someplace and buy myself a the least expensive, you know, $400, $300 laptop, throw about $50 worth of extras in it and use that, dedicate that to um, my video editing. So I need to go and buy a newer, a new um, technology, electronic product, so that I can do what I want to do. Um, that's one reason why people run to the, you know, to the Black Friday sale, because they want to, they're hoping that they can get that hundred dollar laptop or the, um, or a rain check, you know, for that. Um, but I don't think that's the main reason. I don't think utility is the main reason why, why we do this. I think it's because we've been sold the idea that if we have the newest, the biggest, the baddest, the most powerful, <coughs> that's, excuse me, that somehow that uh, reflects back on us. And it, um, it says something about how uh, strong, capable, cool, um, in the know we are. And and human beings have always wanted to feel that about themselves. We have always wanted to feel like we were somehow capable and able to um, able to make our way through our world um, um, in a way that is um, that has strength, if you know what I mean. So whether it's um, the best cell phone, or it's the coolest new drop top Buick or the, the baddest new carriage, or the most awesome war horse, or um, the biggest cave. People have always wanted to do that. So I think in some ways this is m more of there's nothing really new under the sun. It just, it, we're doing it with a different thing now, and it just happens to be um, throwaway cell phones. Um, that's the motivation part. Now, if you talk, if you if you want to talk about the um, uh, not the philosophy, but sort of the fallout of needing to buy new electronics and new whatever, um, that is that's really problematic because what's happened is that the balance of durable to consumable goods has shifted enough that now we have. Um, more things being tossed that really, in my opinion, should have a longer life than they do. Um, you know, technology has a technology is sort of like a um, a snowball. I mean, it it started small and it feeds on itself and it gets bigger and bigger and faster and faster. And pretty soon, that snowball is going to run into the our economy and the way we. Um, 
function and there's going to be a big crash and everybody's going to get, you know, snow all over them and cold. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's just kind of my, my take on what's going on and why it's going on. Um, also, I'm using this as a, uh, this video, uh, this vlog as an opportunity to test yet again my uh, ring light that I made. Um, I'm sitting in front of an open window midday. So, uh, yeah, this is what the light looks like. So, anyhow, that was my ramble. I'm really disjointed right now. Uh, like in my last video, I was talking about just being really, really tired. I'm still really, really tired, and I've got a lot to do. Today is going to be a long day digging through dumpsters, um, you know, throwing stuff in dumpsters, raking, trying to get the pool sweep fixed, blah, blah, blah. It just, it goes on and on and on, and it's hot, and it's humid, and it's just the summer is just never going to end and I feel like I'm going to work my way through eternity just sweating and being tired. So anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm tired. But thanks for the thought-provoking vlog, uh, Brenda. It was really interesting. Talk to you later.